everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Yesterday, I was at uh, Costco to pick up some rotisserie chicken. Uh, for those who don't know, Costco sells some really nice rotisserie chicken at an incredibly low price of only $4.99. <laughs> and one has to wonder, how did they make money doing that? And the actual answer is that they don't make money actually doing that because uh, they lose actually they lose a, about a dollar per chicken. So they it costs them five nine nine to make it, and they sell for four nine nine. So now, if your entire business model is selling stuff for less than you bought it for, you're not gonna you're not gonna stay in business for for very long. Uh, in fact, Costco, I believe, lose about $30 million a year selling those chicken. So why do they do that? And what lessons can you learn for your internet marketing business from cheap, cheap rotisserie chicken? <laughs> All right, so uh, the answer to that question and the lesson you can learn from it is actually, it's actually very, very simple, and but it's also very, very important. First of all, uh, obviously, Costco's not in the business of losing money, right? Those chickens are what is known in the industry as a loss leader. A loss leader is something that you sell for below your cost because it helps bring in customer. So people go into Costco to get the chicken and hopefully while they're going to get the chicken, they will see all the other stuff they have to buy and all they, have, they need and they will pick some up along the way and they'll spend more than $4.99. This is the reason why Costco the bird is at the way of the back of the store. Like it's, yeah, it's at the very back of the store. So you have to walk for the entire store just to get that chicken. So while you walk into the store, you will see, oh look, vacuum cleaner. Oh look, uh, other stuff that you may not actually need, but you know, it's impulse, you, you buy it anyway. Like for example, I went to Costco, you know, looking to buy just a 499 bird. I ended up spending $380. So obviously that worked, right? <laughs> now, as for another, actually another reason, why Costco sells it, uh, sells the chicken so cheap. Uh, like it actually, the rotisserie chicken is actually less than the cost of the fresh chicken. So if you want to buy an uncooked fresh chicken, it costs you more than rotisserie chicken. And yet the rotisserie chicken is all cooked, prepped, ready to eat. Uh, and, and so of course the chicken, the rotisserie chicken is a lost leader, but uh, the, fresh, the fresh chicken is more expensive. And the reason for that is shelf life. You see, a, a rotisserie chicken is cooked and uh, it won't last very long unless you sell it really, really fast because uh, the shelf life is what, one day, if, you, if even that? Whereas the fresh chicken will stay at, the, will stay at the, the shelf for, I don't know, a week, a couple of days, I, well, well, longer. So they, they can get, you know, you, you get a higher price, you get, for, you get a higher price for it. So what can you learn from this as applied to intended marketing? First of all, uh, the first lesson is never sell only one product. Right, and, and, and most internet marketer, especially starting internet marketer, think all they gotta do is just that uh, I just need to find an affiliate offer to promote and buy traffic, send that traffic to the offer. And as long as I'm making more money than I'm spending in traffic, I'm, I'm okay. I have an internet marketing business and I can just scale it up. I'm gonna become rich. Uh, unfortunately, if that's your business model, you are going under. You're going under. Like if Costco only sold rotisserie chicken, they will go under. And if you only sell one product online, one affiliate offer, you're going. You're not gonna. No, it, it doesn't work. You, it can't. It cannot. It cannot be done. It cannot be done. There's, uh, yeah, you got to have multiple products that you offer the customer, and ever increasing price. Right? So that leads to the second lesson you can learn. And that is to have, well, the second lesson is you need to own the customer base. You need to control the customer. Like, see, the typical internet marketer, when they will send traffic directly to a marketing offer, you know, they send it to the advertiser's landing page. Like, I'm gonna buy some traffic, and for this internet product, I'm gonna send it to the advertiser, the advertiser's gonna sell the product, and then I'm gonna get my commission. Like I send somebody I send someone to Amazon, Amazon sells my product, I get my commission. Amazon gets a customer. But Amazon will then sell additional product to that customer, and I get nothing for that. See, Costco, 
they get somebody in with a rotisserie chicken and the customer is still in the store they're buying other stuff from their store and that's how they're really making money the the lost leader is just to get them in just to get them into the front door and for internet marketing it's the same thing the you got the front end product and it's called a leak magnet or a leak man a leak magnet or a trip wire those are the two things a leak magnet is to get the email address a trip wire is just to get the customer uh, i guess uh, a good example of this would be click funnels yeah the click funnels uh, the current click funnel one funnel way challenge that i'm doing it's a hundred dollars and i guarantee you russell brunson is not making money on this product hundred dollars if you look at all the stuff you get there i mean it's not it's not just a virtual product it is actually a physical product that he mails to you to your doorstep and if you and i did a video showing all the stuff you get and then plus all the online stuff and plus the coaching he has a high the coaches has to hire and the mentor he has to hire to actually do the training uh he's if he's making money i will be surprised especially after he's taking account the affiliate commission he needs to pay when someone sells that product i don't he's not making money from it so why is he doing that same concept as costco that's his goal is not to make money on that front end product just like costco's goal is not to make money on that chicken right Russell's goal is just to get the customer so the customer can then get to know ClickFunnels and buy more products from ClickFunnels. So just like me, I go into Costco with the intent of buying a $4.99 bird and I walk out spending $380. Okay. That's how a real business works. And the truth of the matter is, an internet marketing business is a real business. Unfortunately, most internet marketers treat it like a game. Like, yeah, like game. You're going to Vegas, you're going to go gamble. Put it all my money on red and hope I double my money. Uh, same thing. I'm going to advertise this product, spend a thousand bucks, hope I make two thousand. It doesn't work unless you cop, unless you capture the customer, cut the customer belongs to you, and you can sell them additional product. The front end product is just to break even, cover your costs, or lose a bit of money on it because you make it all back when you sell them the additional product. All right, so those are the lessons uh, you learn. Those are the lessons I learned anyway. And uh, so hope that helps you guys. Uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comment. Leave it down below. And uh, please like and share my video. And if you're a first-time uh, viewer, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. It does help me a lot. JohnShepherdJohnShow.com. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.